Ever made bricks that crack after drying? The problem is not always your method. It starts right here under your feet. The soil. I'm going to show you how to select the best soil for strong, long-lasting bricks and how to test it right from your backyard. Not all soils are good for bricks. Some are too sandy, others too clayed, and that's what causes quick or cracked bricks. Let's start with black soil. It looks rich and soft, but it's usually top soil full of organic matter. When I mix it with water, it becomes sticky, smooth, but that's a problem. I started by adding water slowly into the soil and mixing well. As you can see, the more I mix, the smoother and sticker it becomes. This is how you test the texture. It feels nice and very sticky, but the stickiness can be misleading. It's full of organic matter that make it weak. You can see how sticky this black soil becomes once mixed with water. It's now the bricks is molded. I leave it there in the sun to dry. We'll wait and see what happens after few few hours. Now let's try pure clay soil. It's heavier and harder to mix, but very sticky. Unlike black soil, clay soil has reddish brown to yellowish color. Depend on the mineral in it. I'm going to mix with water slowly until it's sticky. Clay soil is excellence for brick making. Its natural stickiness helps it to hold shape perfectly, which means stronger, more durable bricks. Unlike lighter soils, it binds well without falling apart, giving us solid, long-lasting brick. This quality make clay soil one of the best choice for building. Now that the clay soil is properly mixed and sticky, it's time to mold it into bricks. Once molded, I leave the bricks out in the sun to dry slowly. This drying process is crucial. It's adding the bricks. Now we have both the black soil and the clay soil all molded and left to dry, we can observe their behavior. Notice how top soil bricks begin to crack more easily, while the clay soil bricks remain solid and intact. The comparison shows why clay soil is better for making durable, long-lasting bricks. Top soil crack because it doesn't have enough binding strength making the bricks weaker and less durable. For the most accurate test, let's become a soil scientist for a minute. This is a jar test. We are mixing soil and water, and now let it settle. You will see distinct layers form. Sand at the bottom for strength, silt in the middle, and clay on top for binding. You are aiming for a good balance, like about 30% clay here. This is your green light. It might not clear on your screen, but if you look closely, the sand settle on bottom and silt form a layer above it. That's how you find the perfect soil for brick making. That's how you find the perfect soil for brick making. In the next episode is molding and shaping bricks. Do it yourself brick making process. Episode 2. 
make sure you have subscribed for episode 2.